Welcome aboard to SS Jeremy O'Brien, a living monument to liberty ships and the indomitable spirit of World War II. During the dark days of World War II, SS Jeremy O'Brien and her sisters served as a primary cargo ship for US and the Allies. Alas, of the 2,710 Liberty ships, only two are still operational. Assembled in 56 days, O'Brien stands as a living memorial for all who served overseas at the home front during World War II. The O'Brien story begins at a shipyard in South Portland, Maine, in mid-1943. Assembled in 56 days, she is a veteran for both Atlantic and Pacific theaters of war. This assignment was providing support during Normandy invasion or D-Day. The O'Brien made 11 shuttle missions between June and September 1944, delivering supplies for the Allies to secure the war against Nazi Germany. Today, the O'Brien still regularly cruises and serves as a museum dedicated to preserving and teaching the history of Liberty ships and their contribution to World War II. From Ship's War, you can see Alcatraz Island. Let's go inside and see internal museum. This is Twin Deck, contains a photographic record of construction and wartime use of Liberty ships. Let's step in museum. Look at this Dutch WC-53 truck. This car was sent back home to United States after D-Day in Normandy. Behind the glass you can see a detailed model of the Normandy invasion site, constructed by French. The village jeep played a big role during World War II, becoming the most iconic and the versatile military vehicle in its time. Going out from museum, we step into the living section of the ship. This is Officer's Salon. This is Stuart's room. Moving through the corridor, we can see galley or ship's kitchen on the left. There is a coal burning stall in the kitchen. This is a crew dining area or crew mess. Mm -hmm. 
this is a resting area for crew. Welcome to the engine room of SS Jeremy O'Brien. This is a three cylinder triple expansion main engine. It provides 2500 horsepower and 76 run per minute. And the, you know that engine scenes in Titanic movie 1997 was filmed here. For a separate video about it on my channel in the filming location playlist. Chief mate room, chief engineer room, junior third assistant engineer room, Radio operator room, and this is radio room. We stepping into wheelhouse. The ship's steering wheel and navigation equipment located here. This is chart room, a space where navigational planning occurs. If you like this journey to the World War II ships SS Jeremy O'Brien, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next videos.